Hello and welcome once again to the Old Man Speaks, where three times a week I talk for five minutes about not much of anything of importance. And I do this in between making these little music videos for you. Hopefully you find something that you like to listen to. So uh, I was talking about phone calls I used to get, and I'll come back to that topic. I have a couple of phone calls that I, I need just the right person to call me. Uh, so today I'll talk about old man humor and how you pass this down to your children. We used to take family trips in the car, and there was always uh, a lot of humor that they could really get into. I remember driving along the highway, and every time we'd see one of those signs, call box, everyone would have to call box. Pretty dumb, huh? And then as we're going up 83, you know, there's that rest stop there, and they have a big sign that says pet area. So everyone would get out of the car and pet the area. We have some pictures of that, which, of course, is not very funny at all, but... Um, that's old man humor. Uh, driving down, you coming across the street, and you say, gee, I wouldn't want to live on that street. You can't plug anything in. Uh, what do you mean? I said, it says no outlet. But I have one daughter who, who laughs at my jokes. Uh, driving down the road, we see one of those self-storage signs, $30 a month or some such thing. And I said, yeah, I think I'd like to store myself for a couple of months. Things are getting rather difficult out here. Uh, then right next door, there's a, a one of these hiring signs that says, apply within. So I go, there, I've applied within. Pretty dumb, but she'll laugh at some of those jokes. Uh, I got to be careful with my eldest daughter, though. She takes things very, very l literally. And I can remember once uh, I was in a weird mood, and she asked who's coming for dinner tonight or who's coming over tonight. I said, oh, I don't know. I think the Queen of England. So that night, our friend Hindu walked in the house and spent a little time there, walked out. For years, she thought that Hindu was the Queen of England. And she brings that up. She says, how could you tell me something like that? I thought she was the Queen of England. So I, got, I still, to this day, have to be very careful with uh, what I might say to her. Uh, one I do with, with my better half of all time, however, she says something like, oh, my gosh. I'll say, no, it's Josh. That one goes over just probably like it went over with you just sitting there staring at me. But that's old man humor. Uh, sometimes the guys you play with, you know, music with, they don't really appreciate it so much either. Uh, I'm sitting playing with this banjo player, and he says to me, uh, why don't you pick one for me? I said, here. So I don't think he found that very funny. You got to be really careful with old man humor. Some people, they don't quite take it right. A man walks into the shop, he says, I want a guitar for my daughter. I said, that's a fair trade. So anyway, yeah, having kids uh, kind of sharpens up your sense of humor. It's a, just a survival mechanism. So uh, we used to have these characters I made up called Joe and Son. And it was really in part based on this guy who used to come around, and he was a real scoundrel. His name was Ray, and he'd come around to the house. He says, hey, I'm doing this kind of work down the street, um, taking out the leaves from the gutters. While I'm here, you want me to do yours? I see you need it. And you think, okay, well, the guy doing it down the street, and you got the ladder right here, go right ahead. And, you know, he'd never do it, and he'd collect the money. Uh, this kind of guy, he, he had a guy who'd come around saying, hey, I'm Ray's brother and uh, my car broke down and I, I need to, to, to get money for a bus so I can go and get my relative who can, you know, it'd be a long drawn out story. Uh, 
there's no way he was Ray's brother and just a guy, who, another scoundrel who was kind of following him around. And uh, so Joe and Son were these guys who couldn't do anything right. Uh, and well, that's five minutes for now, but I'll continue this midweek. Y'all take care of yourself. See ya. Be careful.